Hello, this is Ali with the Perception Trainers, author of The Perception Diet, and today I want to talk to you about why self-care is important and a non-negotiable if you want to be the kind, loving, compassionate, caring, spiritual, lovely human being that you know that you are and that you want to be. Okay, so I know that there's a lot of talk out there about self-care and about why it's important and about, you know, loving yourself and da 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 And I feel like we're, as people, as communicators about self-love and as teachers of self-love, uh, we're doing a pretty good job of explaining why it's important to take care of yourself, but I feel like we're still kind of missing the mark on making it, like, on communicating why it's completely and, and utterly non-negotiable if you want to be the kind of person that you want to be in this world, okay? And so that is why I wanted to make this video today, is to find, because hopefully my intention with this video is to finally destroy the myth that self-care is selfish and to finally help you to understand why taking care of yourself is actually the least selfish thing that you can do and the most productive and amazing thing you can do for everyone in your life including yourself, okay? So that is really the purpose of this video and I hope that uh, you walk away from this video with all of your excuses for why you don't take care of yourself being kiboshed, okay? So, so the way that I want to explain why taking care of yourself is so important for being the kind of person that you want to be here in the world, uh, the first thing that I want to explain to you is that your emotions are your guidance system, right? And we've talked about that a lot in my videos. Um, and if you are unclear about that, you can essentially watch any of my other videos where I talk about emotions and why they are your guidance system and why they are so amazing and why you being tuned in and connected with your emotions is such an important thing. Okay, so if we're starting from this place of understanding that your emotions are your internal guidance system, letting you know when you are on path and letting you know when you're off path, letting you know when this thing is right for you and letting you know when this is not a path you should go down, or maybe um, helping you to learn about your intuition and how you know you you had a, a negative emotional reaction to this person and it turned out they were not. Uh, a really good person to go into business with and you should have trusted your intuition or your emotions and so understanding that your emotions are your guidance system here on this earth and so if we tie that into self-love and into self-care what I want you to start to think about right now just as I'm talking is can you remember a time when you were really overriding your need for self-care and not taking care of yourself in order to take care of other people around you um, or in order to care for those around you or if you got into this place where maybe life was really overwhelming or maybe you're in this place right now where life is really overwhelming and there's lots of things going on and you feel like there are a lot of people depending on you and rather than taking care of yourself you are constantly kind of on this um, giving out, pouring out, trying to help everyone around you state. And I want you to remember or tune in to your emotions that you were feeling or are feeling in the state where you're not taking care of yourself because you're trying to take care of everybody else. Chances are you feel resentment, you feel sad, you feel tired, you feel angry, you feel frustrated. You're feeling all of these negative emotions, okay? And the second thing you need to understand is that our emotions dictate our behavior and so uh, this can kind of manifest itself in two ways so either you want to be this loving caring supportive supporting uh, compassionate person to everyone in your life but you're not taking care of yourself so you're starting to feel that resentment that negativity those kind of anger um, tiredness all of these kind of negative emotions and feelings and so, and either what you're doing is then you are expressing them in the situation, so you're not being the loving, compassionate, caring person that you want to be. You find yourself, you know, slipping into anger or slipping into resentment or slipping into frustration or slipping into sadness um, and expressing that to the people that you're so most wanting to help or 
you are able to suppress your emotions in the moment and be really loving and compassionate and supportive to the people in your life and then you turn that anger, sadness and frustration in on yourself and you start engaging in self-destructive behaviors. And and I want you to think about this for a moment and I want you to just reflect on this for a moment when you are not taking care of yourself I know that you probably can remember feeling negative emotions about that and having negative emotions associated with that time of not taking care of yourself and like and and sometimes this doesn't happen right away sometimes you can kind of get away with not taking care of yourself for a period of time like kind of especially if there's an emergency and there's an adrenaline situation going on but like i say if you kind of keep going in that direction and you constantly are the caretaker and not taking care of yourself eventually you're going to run into these negative emotions and then like i say now i want you to see are you a are you the person then that can't seem to be emotionally lovely and and the the kind caring compassionate person you want to be for the people in your life because these this resentment is coming up or are you someone who's stuck in self-destructive behaviors that you can't seem to get out of and both of these are the same there are two sides of the same coin of taking care of everybody else and not taking care of yourself and so Usually then what happens is, so we don't take care of ourselves. we are taking care of everyone around us and then we're not kind and compassionate to them or we're not kind and compassionate to ourselves and then from that place generally what we will do is then we start beating ourselves up and we're like why can't I just be nice to them, why can't I just be compassionate, why can't I just be loving when I go away and I think about it like I can understand that I should be nice to them and I can see that it's just their pain or whatever it is that we're telling ourselves and like why can't I just be the person that I want to be or we're like why can't I stop eating, why can't I stop drinking, why can't I stop you know being self-destructive, what's wrong with me blah 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 and then from there we kind of trick ourselves into being like, okay, like I'm, I'm being shitty to everyone in my life. I don't deserve self-love. I don't deserve self-care. I'm this crappy person. I'm not going to start taking care of myself until I'm able to be emotionally available for everyone in my life, until I'm able to be compassionate and loving. And until then, I don't deserve self-love and I don't deserve self-care. Or you're like, I don't deserve self-love and I don't deserve self-care until I can get this self-destructive behavior under control because I'm a bad person for having these self-destructive behaviors. And then this starts us off in this cycle where then we, we continue to not take care of ourselves. Our emotional guidance system continues to say, hey, we're not getting our needs met. This is not okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be angry. I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be judgmental. I'm going to be all of these things. And then that dictates our behavior, right? So then we are even more angry to the people in our lives, or more resentful, or more hateful towards them, or we're more hateful towards ourselves, we're more bad about ourselves. And then we feel more guilty about our behavior, and then we continue to say, I don't deserve self-care until I fix this about myself. And now you can see that not taking care of yourself actually takes you as far away from possible as possible from the person that you actually want to be and it creates all this guilt and it creates all this shame and and then it's another reason and, and it creates another excuse for not taking care of yourself which then reinforces the cycle so I hope that you can see that I hope that you can see that cycle that may have even be going on in your life right now so if you're the type of person that thinks you're selfish for not taking care of yourself or there's not enough time to take care of yourself because you need to be taking care of everybody else or you've got all these negative habits that need to be dealt with before you can indulge in self-care um, what I want to say is the exact antidote to everything that you're going through right now the exact thing that's going to enable you to be the kind loving compassionate able to be their person for everyone else or the type of person that's going to be able to get over your self-destructive behaviors is self-care it's the only way and if you don't engage in self-care, your emotions are going to continue to drive your behavior in the negative direction. And so the only way to become the person that you actually want to be is to engage in self-care. Because what that's going to do is that's going to shift your emotional state, which is then going to shift your behavior, and it's going to shift your mind, it's going to shift your perspective, and everything will shift from that point. So this is why, bottom line, I don't care if you're a nurse, I don't care if you're Mother Teresa, I don't care if you're a mother of 18 children, I don't care if 
you're a single person who has no one else in your life, whatever it is, if you are not taking care of yourself, you will never be the person that you want to be because your emotions won't let you, okay? Your emotional guidance system will continue to drive your behavior in a negative direction to let you know that you're off course until you start taking care of yourself. So if you want to be a spiritual person, you want to be this loving person, you want to be this person that can take care of everybody else, you want to be someone that can not be self-destructive, you have to take care of yourself. Otherwise, your emotions will continue to drive your behavior in the exact opposite direction that you want to go. Okay? So this is why, bottom line, self-care is a non-negotiable. It's a non-negotiable. It is not selfish. It is not self-centered. It is not any of these negative things. It's actually the thing that's going to make you the least selfish and the least self-centered and the least, you know, all of these things you don't want to be. It's going to make you who you want to be. And so I want you to just sit with that. I want you to just reflect on that. And I want you to, th and if you're feeling resistance to this, I want you to ask yourself, how well has not taking care of your needs actually served you? How much has it made you the loving, compassionate, caring person that you wanted to be? Or how much has it helped you not have self-destructive behaviors in exchange for being this loving, compassionate, always pouring out person? Have you been able to get over your anger and resentment towards everyone around you? Have you been able to not get frustrated? Have you been able to give without feeling totally drained? Have you been able to give without having to go drink? Have you been able to give without having to go eat? And I'm going to say bottom line, if you're not taking care of yourself, I know that the answer is no. But I just want you to reflect on that and see that not taking your care, care of yourself is actually doing the opposite of what you think it's going to do. Okay? So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I always love hearing from you. Um, if you disagree with me, uh, totally let me know about that. If you are really offended by this video, I want to hear that too. And uh, find us on Perception Trainers in on Facebook. I'm on Instagram, Urban Fruit Bat. And yeah, I wrote a book all about self-care, all about self-love, The Perception Diet. You can find that at perceptiondiet.com. Um, if you kind of identify with this but don't know where to go from here, uh, that book is really great, and yeah, uh, let me know if you have anything to say. I love hearing from you, and until then, talk to you in the next video.